I want to demystify one of the systems in Diablo 4 that I've been getting a lot of questions about during my live streams. That to be honest, the game doesn't really do a great job at explaining. And that's how you can get all the legendary powers that you want on your gear. And the system that we're talking about is the imprinting system. So what is it and how does it work? So let's say you're leveling through the game and you find a dungeon that has this symbol on it. And you'll hover over it and you'll see reward on the first completion. It'll give you storm claws aspect. Critical strikes with shred deal 20% of the damage dealt as lightning damage. So when you complete that dungeon, you'll unlock that aspect, and those aspects can be applied to any yellow or legendary item in the game. All right, so let's say you're playing the game and you just pick up this yellow item and say, you really want that barrier generation, you really want that extra crit strike damage, but you really don't want to lose the legendary power that's on the other ring that you already have, right? Or maybe you don't have a legendary power at all and you just want to put something on it. All right, let's, let's go to the occultist and see what we can do. So... When you go to the occultist, you'll see this screen and it has four different boxes. It's kind of confusing what this does and how it works. So I can put this item in here and I have two options coming from here. I have the codex of power and I have the aspect from inventory. So with the codex of power, it'll give you all of these options. And if you want to, you can show only the options you have for your class and it'll show you what you have unlocked. So here's the power that we have on that ring that we currently have equipped, but we want it on the yellow that we just found. So we can click here and it'll show you this item plus this codex of power gives you this new item with that same power. And it costs 12 Veiled Crystals, and it costs 5 Abstruse Sigils, plus this gold cost. So that's how we can get any legendary power that you want on any yellow item. But you might be asking, the one that you were wearing has 34%, whereas the new one only has 25%. But Riz, I see this range that says 25 to 35%. Why does it just say 25%? Well, that's the downside of the Codex of Power. You can use any power that you have unlocked in here anytime you want, but you can only get the minimum roll for whatever that power is. So if you're using the Codex of Power system, you will always get the minimum roll. Now that's where the aspect from inventory comes in. Let's say that I find an item in the game like this one that says you deal 34% more damage to immobilized, stunned, or frozen enemies, but I don't like that weapon. I can take this item and go back to the Occultist. You can come to the Extract Aspect tab up here at the top of the Occultist, pop your weapon in here, and instead, it'll give you the Offense Aspect of Control, which gives you, you deal 34% more damage to immobilize, stunned, or frozen enemies. So then, you can extract this aspect, hit Accept, and then let's go back to the Imprint tab. So now we can take the same yellow ring, put it in the item slot, but instead of using the Codex of Power, we can go to the Aspect from Inventory, but we need to get that Aspect. So we go to the Aspects tab over here, and then we grab the one that we just extracted and place it here. And that'll show you this new item will now give you the 34% that you pulled off that weapon. I should also add that if you have a Legendary with a power on it that you already like, or one that you don't, you can still take that Legendary item, put it in here, and replace it with a Codex of Power. So it's not just yellows, you can replace them on Legendaries as well. So let's say you have an item that you already like the stats on, and you like the legendary power, but the legendary power has a minimum roll from the Codex of Power, but you find another legendary later in the game that has a better roll. You can extract that roll, and you can apply it to the item that you're already wearing. Therefore, increasing the roll and increasing your power. Now, one key difference that I want to point out is that the Codex of Power, you can use as many times as you want. However, the aspects from your inventory, you can only use one time. And once an item's imprinted, you cannot take that imprint back off. So you can only use these aspects one time. So now that we know what we know about the Codex of Power and the imprinting system, I wanna show you what you should be doing when you pick up a new legendary item. So you grab these gloves and you look at them. So you look at the stats and you see, okay, intelligence, one rank to frozen orb, strength, crit strike chance, and this explosions from the shatter key passive deal 40% increased damage. Well, okay, let's say I don't like these stats, but I do like the legendary power because it's a perfect 40% roll. As you can see in that gray text, it can roll from 30 to 40%. So I really like this 40% roll, but I don't really like the item. So I go here, I go to the extract aspect tab. I pop these in here and I extract the aspect and I can just save it for rainy day. Let's say I get an item later that doesn't have a legendary power that I like, I can put this on there. So I should add that these aspects can only be applied to certain item types as you can see in the tooltip here. So an offensive aspect can only be applied to a one-handed weapon, a two-handed weapon, gloves, an amulet, or rings. And you'll also see that they get power bonuses for two-handed weapons or amulets. Two-handed bonuses, it doubles their power. On an amulet, it multiplies it by 1.5. Now, different aspects can be applied to different types of weapons, so you'll want to be cognizant of that when you're checking. Additionally, when you're looking in the Codex of Power list, you can click on these tabs here and see 
This is the defensive ones, and it's only allowed on an offhand, a helmet, a chest, pants, or amulets. An offensive can be allowed on an amulet, a weapon, gloves, rings, etc., etc. So you'll want to find a perfect combination of all the powers that you want on what slot they can go on and apply them to the appropriate slots. And one last tip before I let you go is let's say you want to apply one of these ones that you don't have yet, right? If you exit out of this screen and bring up your collections and go to Codex of Power, find the one that you want and left click on it and it'll add a pin to where that dungeon is on the map. So we're currently in Kyovishad. We can follow this line down to where this dungeon is and it's gonna be this dungeon right here. So I could go to this waypoint, head on over. So I hope something in this video helped, whether it answered a question that you had or it taught you something that you didn't know. But if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below or come over to my stream. There's a link down in the description.